All right, here we are, Shine Mountain Trail Race. We're at the finish line talking to Pete Maxmow. He just set the record in the uh, 25K, and uh, Pete, that's got to feel pretty good. Yeah, it does. It was I was chasing my uh, myself in 2012. That's right. You had the record before. Yeah, I set it uh, when Tommy Manning and I were running together at 146.05, and then today I had a bit of a sprint with myself at the end. My 2000 self. That's tough competition. 2012 <laughs> self, and uh, I got it officially by three by two seconds. So it was 146.03. That's incredible. And back in 212, you. You set the record, and then pretty quickly after that, you just ran into a bunch of injuries, and you're just now coming back. Tell us how all that's been going. Yeah, it's been two years. It's been really frustrating. It's, yeah. it's been a long time. So I, I'm happy to finally be healthy. Yeah. Almost healthy. Yeah. But training well. Things are going really well. Yes. Yeah. Running, running some fast times. Yeah. Even shorter distances, stuff that I don't normally do. Yeah. Did you have a good feeling about coming into this race? Like some something, something good might happen? Or you, were you aiming for the record? Did you think? Um, Andrew, it, it usually comes down to who's running with you. Yeah. Because if you run on your own, it's not typically a fast time. Yeah. You get out there, you're enjoying yeah. the scenery. Yeah. Chased by bears. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I thought it was. I had it in mind because I'm training has gone really well lately, and I'm. Yeah in good shape yeah so it, it's a good tune-up for greenland 50k yeah which is next weekend yeah and uh where you also have the record right i do yeah i i broke my record last year from the year before and then i just missed it three years ago justin ricks had it right so it's uh a lot of team colorado out there so you ran, yeah, records. yes. So you you ran a lot of the race by yourself today. Yes. Hard to, hard to push when you you know you did it. So <laughs> how'd you accomplish that? I uh, yeah, I started off with Travis Macy, and uh, I don't think he wanted to go as fast as me. So yeah. and after about first half mile, I was on my own and tried to relax. Yeah. And push the second half. And yeah. I ended up pushing maybe the. A little too early, and it's a little tired in the middle, and then yeah. had a good last five or ten k. Yes, yeah. you know, I felt good. It was yeah. running uphill, yeah. well, yeah. and then it came down to the downhills. Did you tell me a couple weeks ago that you're gonna take a shot at U.S. Mountain Running Championships? Yes. Yeah. So. Always. So yeah. So you know you're coming around just the right time for that. Yeah, that's in uh, July, July sixth. Yeah. Out at Loon Mountain. Yeah. In New Hampshire, and yeah, it's it's just getting more and more difficult. Yeah, guys like Max King and Joe Gray. Right. And, yeah. Um, it's it's the really fast guys are coming into it now, which is hard to compete with. But, right. You know, two fourteen marathoner. Yeah. That can translate well into the trails. Is, right. Is difficult. Yeah. When you run fifteen yeah. minutes slower than that in the marathon. Yeah, but they got to go uphill. They do. Yeah. You're, you're not bad at that. Yeah, I'm pretty good at that. Yeah. Max <laughs> King may be muscly, but I'm yeah. I'm using my skinny for something. <laughs> there you go. All right, man. All right. Good job, brother. Thank you. There you got it.